Welcome back to my channel, everybody. In this video, I've got some random hobby packs I picked up at a store today. Um, you've seen me put these together from time to time, some various, like, um, homemade attempts at, like, a boom box. And so that's what we've got here. Uh, we've got some Top Scrum Light from last year, Pro Debut from last year, a couple of the Bowman uh, hobby packs from 2022, Stadium Club Chrome, a hobby pack from 2022, and then a um, Silver Pack from Series 2 from last year. So... Um, didn't want to break the bank, but wanted to get into a little bit of a rip that was a variety of things and also hobby packs. So I don't really know which one I should start with. I'll probably just go left to right, perhaps. We'll go for the Topps Chrome. This is the Topps Chrome Light, so there's only four cards in here. Um, and we'll see what we can do. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me. And we'll see if we can find something. I always try to get these hobby packs with the increased odds of getting something really nice, a numbered parallel or an autograph. And every once in a while it comes through, but you never know. Shane DeBoz, who's unfortunately been out pretty much the whole year with injury. Jose Siri, who is uh, back with Tampa Bay, or is with Tampa Bay, excuse me, and is doing all right this year. Good power and speed combination. Looks like we have a prism refractor here of Alexander Wells, rookie, and then uh, <laughs> Alexander Wells again. One just the base card, and then one with the prism refractor. So uh alexander wells hot pack i guess you could say three um i almost said three baltimore Orioles, but i guess siri was houston astro there so alexander wells left the pitcher for baltimore getting some love early on all right pro debut i've said before how much i love these cards just kind of this matte finish um which just kind of contrasts it with the base you know the regular mlb series one and series two releases i just for whatever reason just always seem to think these just really shine and I love getting pro debut, even though these are guys in their minor league uniforms. Angel or Angel Martinez, don't know a lot about him. Colin Burns for the Del Marva Shorebirds. Always got those very unique logos and team names for the minor league teams. Uh, for Fresno Grizzlies, Warbling Bernabe, Bernab excuse me, Bernabe, I believe he is with the Colorado organization. I have heard of him. Got a decent prospect pedigree. Justin Foscu for the Texas Rangers. Was one of their higher draft picks a few years ago. Um, yeah, drafted uh, their number one pick in 2020. Looks like we got a bit of an insert here. Jorge Valera, or George Valera, for the Akron Rubber Ducks, for the Cleveland Guardians, I believe, is what organization he's with. You can see he was um, kind of his pedigree or pipeline through the system so far, up in AA in 2021. Hopefully he's progressed since then. Ryan Spikes for the Tampa Bay FCL Rays, Florida Gulf Coast League. Safrelik for the uh, Milwaukee organization. I don't know, has he? I think I believe he's made his major league debut by now. And then Nolan Gorman, who has um, been up for the last couple years for the St. Louis Cardinals. So no big hits in there, but always cool to see those guys in their minor league uniforms. Next pack, these Bowman packs. Obviously, the Ellie De La Cruz would be the big time chase that we would be going for. Um, and then some of the other just absolutely loaded guys in this release uh the base cards obviously are not going to be where the intrigue is julio rodriguez high five futures like that insert and then we get to the prospect paper card sosa and victor labrada and then our chrome cards are alejandro pie can't say i know a lot about him or how his career has gone and a pedro pineda for the oakland athletics so nothing too crazy in the first one but that's okay that's why we got two We'll go ahead and give it a shot on pack number two. I always wonder when there's hobby packs out like this. If they're just random packs that they took out of a box and put in the store, or if, you know, someone in theory has found the packs that had the autographs and then just these are all the leftovers. <laughs> you know, they're like, hey, I pulled, pulled my autograph. I'm going to just sell the rest. Got some Tampa Bay Rays there. There's a Wander Franco, a Ricky card. Jonathan India. Reed Detmers. Almost threw a no-hitter the other day for the Angels. Insert card. Sawinski, first Bowman. He's been up in the major leagues and done all right for himself. Montero for the Yankees. And Dustin Harris for the Rangers. Don't know a lot about them. We have Verdugo for our first Bowman Chrome for the um, Chicago Cubs. And, oh, it is Cincinnati, but Michael Triana, the first Bowman of Triana. Michael Triana, Bowman. First Bowman Chrome. Let's drop it there. So Bowman did not pay any too crazy dividends, but 
always fun to open those and that release is in such high demand that anytime I see it for a decent price, I think those are actually like nine or ten dollars a piece. Um, I like to give it a try. So Stadium Club Chrome, one of my favorite releases every year just because of the photography, Liam Hendricks. Hopefully he is gonna be back and healthy next year. Brandon Nimmo for the unfortunately um, disappointing New York Mets and someone who has not been disappointing lately is my man right here, Bobby Wood Jr., team of the future. That is the best card and my favorite card of the pool so far. He has been absolutely on fire. I don't know how his competition will be, but he has a shot to be um, maybe MLB player of the month this month. He's been absolutely breaking. Ty Cobb, Hall of Famer. Always like that they include the legends with the uh, current players on these. Detroit Tigers, and that make that a color photo as well is really cool. Reese Hoskins, and then we'll wrap it up with another Hall of Famer, Jeff Bagwell, and those old school Astros jerseys. Man, I forgot all about those. It's been a while since I've seen those. Those are always very cool. So, last pack. Thank you so much for joining us. These are the silver packs from the um, Hobby Boxes or Hobby Jumbo Boxes. Last year's Series 2, which is still pretty readily available and not in high demand, but you can end up pulling some autographs out of these silver packs. Ryan Valade for uh, Colorado is the first one off the bunch. It looks like we have a, do have a blue at the back there. That'll be a nice way to end this video. GD Martinez. We've got Ronald Acuna Jr. who is starting to get some pressure from Freeman and his teammate Matt Olson for MVP. And then the final card of the video, looks like we do have a blue version here, Chicago Cubs. And is that Stroman? That looks a lot like Stroman. And it definitely is. Marcus Stroman and I, I'm hoping this one is numbered. Let's see if it is numbered on the back. If you have the home run challenge kind of information, it is numbered out of 150, 119 out of 150. You can see it up there in the top right-hand corner. So Stroman's unfortunately been injured and got off to such a great start this year, but is not finishing it as well as he started it just due to injury. So there you have it, guys. Um, fun little rip there. I did not pull any big-time hits or relics or anything like that. But it was fun, and I always enjoy kind of building these little um, hobby rips every once in a while just because um, you always get those increased chances compared to when you purchase retail. So thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate everyone's support, and I will catch you in the next video.